Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test account and the brand new patch notes are up, which means that is right, a new Graveborn hero. We've been waiting for this. Um, Ivan the Bonesmith, hopefully gonna see a lot of utility out of this hero. Um, I know Treznar, I'm thinking just a little bit back, seeing quite a bit of utility out of. Fane, we didn't see as much. And then of course, we're still waiting to see what Awakened hero we're gonna get. If it's gonna be that Graveborn hero, if it's gonna be that Wilder hero, I am still betting and hoping, fingers crossed, that it is going to be the Awakened version of Shmira when it comes to the Graveborn. So of course, the, the Graveborn hero again, Ivan the Bonesmith will be up. Now, new additions and optimizations added the Twisted Tales to the Voyage of Wonder. So we are getting another Voyage of Wonder. Question is, we haven't seen any more Wandering Balloons, but it looks like, there it is guys added the final night adventure to the wandering balloon, which is gonna be awesome. Now it has been several months, I think almost at this point, um, that we have not been able to, or we have not seen any additions to the wandering balloon. I know a lot of players were asking a lot of questions about that. So it seems like some with the wandering balloon is back at this point. Added the dark yard event to Judgment Chronicles, which you can join by completing chapter 32-60. So that is quite a bit later into AFK Arena. We're gonna have to see exactly what that is about tomorrow. Launch a limited time event in Judgment Decree, where you will receive additional rewards by completing quests. Um, after the limited time ends, the condition for unlocking the event will change to clear stage 2160. Very interesting. So this is another it might be like another mini game like what we have right now um, with, with Pippa's journey and with um, the, the shadow invasion. That, that's going to be interesting to see because it shows that once it initially comes out, it's going to lower it down to 2160 that you're going to be able to go in there while the enemy's difficulty for the event will also be reduced. Updated the boss formation for Nightmare Corridor by replacing Kane with the Soul Hound. Now we've seen pictures of the Soul Hound before. It looks very, very cool as a new um as a new boss. I am loving how they doing that, how they do the Nightmare Corridor. I wish it was a collaborative game mode with the rest of your guild. That is what I'm still waiting for, guys. Whether it is redoing Riz or Soren, but making it really the, the guild aspect and being able to play together with the rest of your guild. Updated the treasure scramble as follows. Added treasure hunt camps, which will be available to those who have completed stage 1140, but not 2460. So that is a very small niche that we're gonna see that guys, 1140, but not 2460. And where you can receive random exploration awards, those with exceptional performance can participate in treasure scramble in advance. Wow, so that is kind of a early whale I'm guessing. Because if you really want to look at exceptional performance in the treasure scramble, um, it is a PvP aspect and it is very, very heavy with the heroes specifically that you have built. And a lot of them are the more expensive heroes. Uh, those ranking among the top players by the time the results of the second round of the treasure scramble are calculated will participate in the subsequent treasure vanguard as treasure commanders. Very cool. Again, we're going to have to see if we can get in there um, to check this out because most of my accounts, I think all but probably one or two, are far beyond that chapter 24 right there. So we're not gonna be able to actually participate in there. Haunted Dreamscape will be available locally. You will turn into Aziz, the Lord of Nightmare, to face powerful enemies in the dream and receive rewards by completing the challenge. So very cool guys, adding a little bit more. And again, of course, with any game mode such as this, it does come with loot, which is very cool. Now this was the question that a lot of players had. We knew the new Temple Rift season has begun or will begin and run for 90 days. So it is still 90 days. Added the new season five avatar frame and stickers. Added the team rewind function through which you can select any single team and rewind the battle to the initial state. Optimize the rules for obtaining divine seals. Gonna be interesting again um, to see all the changes with the Temple Rift. I know Season four was a massive overhaul when it came to the Temple Rift and a lot of players absolutely loved it. I thought it was really cool. It made it easy. It didn't take as much time. Um, you did have to wait till you got a little bit further into having some of those um, some of those relics in there to be able to make a lot of progression. But overall, a majority of free-to-play players, if you've been playing free-to-play for a while, got the ability to actually finish out the Temple Rift, all 300 floors, which was nice to see. I want to see what, what the optimize the rules for the Divine Seal because this reset, remember, I believe it was every 20 floors, this reset, um, which made it incredibly hard starting off kind of at every 20 mark. It was kind of harder to go through. 
The event fight of fates shall commence on local time 719. Following changes added the battlefield effect faction bonus, where the factions you deploy of your deployed heroes meet certain requirements. Corresponding bonuses affected will be active. So very cool. Added five cards, Blessing in Disguise, Dwindling Blast, Anti-Healing Vial, Forbidden Recharge, and Crushing Hammer. I know there's a lot of players that absolutely love the Fight of Fates, um, just like the Battle of Blood. It, it's a cool game mode. Um, they really need to add some more incentivized, more incentivized part of it. And I think they need to incentivize the leaderboard in these to really give players a reason to drive and a reason to strive um, to perform a little bit better in there. And game modes like this, it's not dependent on the heroes you have, which is pretty cool to see, but you can go in there and you can make progression even as a newer player, as long as this event is available. I, I hope again, some of those changes, same with the, um, the Shadow Invasion. I wish the leaderboard did have some rewards in there to really give players an incentive to push. Now added tips for some heroes, you can view hero tips by tapping tips on the hero detail. Very cool, or, or stay stay tuned. Tips for other heroes will be updated. Um, stay tuned. Okay, added a condition for daily quest, buy one item from the store. Very cool, so when you make a purchase, it is going to fulfill one slot of the daily quest. Adjusted the a rage mechanic in Cursed Realm. The adjustment will take effect. Now this worries me a little bit because um, anytime they make adjustments to the Cursed Realm, usually throws off everything and you can see there are a lot more notes to go through. When an enemy has a relatively high number of enraged stacks, the attributes will be reduced. So they're making the enrage lower. Optimize the logic for enrage calculation during lock screen for the battle. When an enemy takes damage, their enrage will also stack. First session of the Curse Realm after this goes will have dynamic divisions. We have seen this before. When they are in effect, a division's target damage will change according to the number of adventures that reach that target damage. This is how they separate players out, guys, is that this dynamic division. Um, final divisions will be determined once results have been calculated, and it is based on damage that you do on the boss. And once session is ended, again, we'll return to the static divisions, which we have. You can enter divisions by reaching each division's target. Now, one thing about the divisions, guys, is they do not post them. They are not posted anywhere to, hey, you need this amount of damage to reach the next division, or what is the top division? Um, I know some players throughout time of AFK Arena have tried to determine what levels, what divisions, what damage. Um, incredibly hard, but again, that is information that is not provided publicly to us. Now, added more realm mastery levels if player deals enough damage. Very nice. They will get the one-off rewards, which I believe in here it was cards. I think we got some Stargazer cards, but that's very cool, guys that they're gonna be adding not only some more damage to the boss, but you're also gonna get some more rewards from that. Game adjustments, Albedo the Pure White Devil fixed an issue where special circumstances, the skill didn't work properly, and then Curse Realm Dark Nomura adjusted the mechanic of Dark Nomura to summon Dreef. Now summoning Dreefs can, cannot be defeated and are regarded as bosses. That is really cool, guys. So if you've been stuck with Dark Nomura and if you watch the videos, we've actually talked about this quite a bit. There was a part, part with, um, or a point with Dark Nomura or Demonic Nomura that you would get stuck in every single attempt that you had. If you didn't peek over the next summoning session, um, you couldn't make any progression. So I believe it was like 78, 788 million or something where very, very rare chance that she would summon the next set of Dreefs before you killed the last set. Again, just kind of the delay. So this is going to really overhaul this boss and how it works. A lot of changes coming, guys, which is cool to see, including our new Greyborn hero. So, all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.